It is often said that many Linux users, if not most Linux users, have an elitist attitude. We love to talk about how much better our operating system is compared to the alternatives. Sometimes we love to talk about how much Linux changed our lives, changed the way we work, sometimes just changed the way we interact with the world in general. And when non-Linux users hear us talking this way, they assume that we must be arrogant, elitist a-holes. But do we really have an elitist attitude? Yes, we do. But there is a reason we have this elitist attitude. It's because we are elite. It's not an attitude. It's a fact. Think about it for a minute. Why are we elite, the Linux users? Well, let me give you some reasons. Number one, we are the 2%. Think about that. So for desktop computer users, Linux accounts for about 2% of desktop market share. So what could be more elite than that? And it really goes beyond just the operating system that we've chosen to run. Many Linux users, we're kind of non-conformist. We go against the rest of the crowd. And that's really how many of us ended up on Linux. It's because, you know, we see where everybody else goes. We typically run the other direction. Reason number two, we are far more computer literate than your typical Windows or Mac user. We just are. Linux users are aware of things that the majority of Windows and Mac users have never even considered. We know what an operating system actually is. We know about things like the kernel, init systems, desktop environments, window managers, compositors. We know about file systems and file permissions, user permissions, package management. These are things that 99% of the people that run Windows or Mac they don't know anything about they, They've never even heard these words before, much less actually know what they mean. Reason number three, Linux is used in a lot of elite fields. Many Linux users are using Linux on the server, on mainframes, in enterprise. They're using it as development platforms. They're using it in scientific endeavor, often using it in really high-end data-intensive environments. Linux just dominates in these areas where operating systems like Windows and Mac, they're really only geared for one kind of use, and that is the home consumer crowd. Reason number four, Linux users are passionate about their operating system. I have never met a Windows user that was really passionate about running Windows. I, I've never met one. Now, Mac users, I have met plenty of Mac fanboys, but still, they are not as passionate about their operating system the way the Linux user is passionate about his operating system. For those of us that run Linux, Linux is more than just the software we run. Linux is a way of life. It is an idea, an ideal. Linux is also our community. There is no real sense of community when you talk about Windows and Mac, not the way it is in the Linux community. And it's not just that we love to go against the grain and run software that most other people do not run. Linux users actually think that their operating system is better than every other operating system out there. In fact, we know it's better. Why do we know it's better? Well, number five, Linux users are control freaks. So those of you that have actually used both Windows and Linux, let me ask you a few things. Which of those two operating systems can be updated while running? Which of those two operating systems allow you to choose the times when you want the operating system to update itself? Which of those operating systems boots in the fastest time? Which of those operating systems installs in the fastest time. Which of those operating systems respect my privacy? Which of those operating systems reinstalls in 15 minutes or less with all of my user data still intact? So Linux users, we definitely have an elitist attitude. It's true. I think Linux attracts the elite user much more so than Windows and Mac do. So yes, we are in fact elitist. But if you are a Windows or a Mac user, do not let our elitism be off-putting or offensive to you. Because all the reasons I've given in this video, and I could have listed many, many more reasons, after you see the reasons why we have this elitist attitude, how could we possibly avoid being elitist?
Before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are my supporters over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode you just watched would not have been possible. I want to sincerely thank each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen that help support my work over on Patreon. Again, without these guys, the channel wouldn't be possible. If you'd like to support my work, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.